Hey everyone! We made a nice organic seed starting mix last time with a 10 pound block of cocoa coir, a cubic feet of perlite, and 2 gallons of earthworm castings. And today we'll be converting this into an awesome general organic potting mix that will easily keep your plants fed for a month or two of vegetative growth. So there's a hard way to do this and an easy way to do this. And I'll go over the hard way first really quick since some people, once they get into building their own soils, do like going this route to customize their perfect blend. So the hard way is essentially buying each individual fertilizer ingredient separately and then mixing them together in a certain ratio so that the plant gets everything it needs. For example, with this 25 to 30 gallons of seed starting mix, I'd probably add about a cup of bone meal, half a cup of seabird guano, a cup of blood meal, half a cup of rock phosphate, half a cup of kelp meal, half a cup of granular humic acids, three tablespoons of Epsom salt, and two tablespoons of garden lime. Or, I can just add four cups of this all-purpose organic fertilizer, which utilizes a lot of the same ingredients, is already pre-mixed at a pretty optimal ratio, and is way cheaper to buy if you're only making a couple batches of soil. No matter which way you go though, just know that both of these mixes will pretty much only take care of all the macronutrients a plant needs, but not the micronutrients. So to cover that, I'll also be adding in a cup of azomite, which will shore up any micronutrients the plant might need. Mix it all up, and you have yourself an amazing potting mix that's light enough for seeds to start in, but with enough slow-release nutrients that it'll support the plant's growth for the entire vegetative stage. And it's able to do this because of the mixture of worm castings along with the solid fertilizers used. So what happens initially, as the plants go into the seedling stage, the roots will only be able to access the nitrogen from the worm castings since that's bioavailable to the plants right away, but it's not going to be bombarded with the nutrients from the solid fertilizers because those need about a week or two to really start breaking down into something that's bioavailable to the plants. And of course, once the plant needs more nutrients as it gets larger, the solid fertilizers will really start to kick in to support the plant for the next month or two, making this a great organic soil to start with right after it's mixed for seeds and seedlings. And because of how these solid fertilizers work, if you're going to be transplanting a plant into this mix, it's recommended to first allow it to sit for a few weeks allowing the solid fertilizers to break down a little so that there's a good amount of nutrients bioavailable to your transplanted plants right away. And because of how well my plants did in this mix when compared with other organic soil mixes that cost way more than this, I pretty much always make my own soil now for my grows at home. Finally, there's one last soil mix that I'm going to cover next time that builds on this organic potting mix to create a super soil mix, which when layered in your planters a certain way, will provide nutrients to a plant for three to four months instead of only one to two months, which essentially covers the entire life cycle of a plant. So stay tuned. And that's it.